For the West, the Second World War broke out in Asia when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. In contrast to Ishiwara, Itagaki was a man of action and a man who inspired confidence and respect. Ishiwara designed the strategies, but it was Itagaki who implemented them. He should be seen as Ishiwara's second in command. The attack on Shanghai on January 28, 1932, shocked the entire world. The Japanese Air Force bombed the city indiscriminately, forcing the terror-stricken citizens to flee in droves. The Chinese army put up fierce resistance, and the fighting degenerated into a series of pitched battles. Ishiwara had been promoted to general, and as the head of the Economic Mobilization Bureau, he pursued the militarization of Japan. In preparation for the total war to be waged against the USSR and then the United States, the country's industries were entirely devoted to the production of military equipment. Planes, boats, tanks, cannons, munitions. Ishara wanted to make the Japanese army the most powerful army in the world. The Japanese, aided by the artillery of the Imperial Navy, had a decisive advantage. In spite of the heroic resistance put up by the Japanese soldiers, the city was taken. Under the falling bombs, the inhabitants desperately attempted to flee. From his office in Tokyo, Ishiwara could do nothing to stop the invasion, which in his opinion was suicidal. 